just, I'm going home. <laughs> I ain't dealing with this crap, I'm done. This pin just snapped in half. That holds that whole left side up. Arms just dangling. Yeah. I think we just leave it here and we just don't mess with it and we'll just come back in November. back at the shop we are planting some deer food plots today i think we're going to plant four I'm going to go to the pocket the west side the half acre and maybe a couple other ones if we got some time i got ruck here i got cash and nate's already on the tractor he's out there uh tilling up a couple plots we're about to go meet him we're using a brand new seed this year it's called legacy seed it's from a company up in harrisburg it's just a whitetail mix uh got all sorts of stuff clover oats rape wheat turnips radish all sorts of brassica mix. I uh, may have to do a part two to this video. I think today we're, like I said, just get four plots in and then uh, go from there. So I'm about to go load the seat up in the Ranger and then head to the pocket. Man, only time the ducks have ever stayed in the state for this man right here. Comes from North Carolina, brings the bad luck. No ducks ever. We just look at the sky. He might shoot four in 12 days. Goes home depressed, but not this year, this time we had a good one. Looks like some widgeon, a teal of course, probably some gadwall mixed in there, but hey, good for you, man. We'll see you in December and hopefully three weeks in January, but leave that bad luck shit over there in North Carolina. We don't need it out here. something coming to the rescue trying to plant a couple food plots and that's why we just can't have nice things around here stuff's always breaking so we're gonna see what's up probably give nate a ride back and hell i don't know we'll see after that stay tuned <laughs> you can't park here I haven't even started, we're already done. I'm just, I'm going home. <laughs> I ain't dealing with this crap, I'm done. So what happened? I have no idea. What's broke though? This pin just snapped in half. That holds that whole left side up. Arms just dangling. How's that even happen? I mean, that's a half inch pin. Rock, you know what a half inch looks like? Oh. Do it again. I know what I know what's wrong with it. It ain't got no gas in it. Ain't got no gas in it, coach. You got a pin in your truck? I might my toolbox. I don't know if it's that size. Is that all we need is a pin? Yeah, but you're gonna have to you're gonna have to get this lifted up high enough. Do we have a car jack at the shop? You got one in my truck. Dude, I don't even know if how are you gonna get the car jack under there though? I think we just leave it here and we just don't mess with it and we'll just come back in November. Tough. Got it? Yeah. That's how it's supposed to go because it's supposed to grip onto these things like that one. So we're supposed to have another one on this other yeah. side but it goes on that but so that's what. So this is our best option. As long as it's and not going to hit that other this side of it, so it can't go back this. Well, way. as long as it's not going to hit that arm right there, we're fine. Right. Well, Kazo doesn't have health insurance. Glad nobody got hurt.
tilling now. Been an absolute disaster of a start. It's already like three o'clock. Get over here, Nate drove up here. It's his first time up. He just had a baby. He hadn't been out of the house in a week. Freaking pin brakes on the tractor. A little flat tire on the Ranger. But the boys prevailed. We had a uh, car jack in the truck. Had some electrical tape and some redneck ingenuity. And now we're, we're, we're tilling some dirt now. So we're gonna run back to the shop, grab the Ranger, grab the seed, come back out here. And uh, hopefully by that time, Nate will be pretty close to being done with this plot and we'll get some seed in the ground. So the day is not a complete wash. Not yet, at least. <laughs> Fingers crossed. All right, so we just got out to the food plot. This is a plot we call the pocket. This is a spot we just broke down on the tractor. Nate's completely done tilling. He's moved over about four or 500 yards to another plot we call the west side. So we're going with a different food plot seed this year. We used to work with Revere. Uh, now we're just using Legacy Whitetail Mix. This is out of a, a, a co-op up in Wynn, Arkansas. About an acre food plot. We're gonna go two bags to the acre. Um, gonna load this hopper up, got an electric seeder. We're gonna make a couple rounds through here. And then um, here in about two weeks, after a couple of rains, we're gonna come back in here and hit it with some fertilizer and just overseed it with wheat. So this whole plot should be nice and green. holds right at two bags we're gonna go ahead and plant it is september what is it like september 19th 18th we're planting a little late this year we just had a four inch rain hit this past weekend nate just came through and tilled i mean look at that dirt that's there's a ton of moisture in that soil um we we mowed it down about four weeks ago we sprayed it with 24d and some roundup killed it off nicely i mean it looks looks like a baseball field out here it's perfect so we're gonna put the seed down and then uh once it starts germinating over the next couple of weeks, like I said, we'll hit it with some fertilizer. And then uh, by the time we get back from Canada, it'll be time to bow hunt. Send it. pocket because as you can see in the woods makes a uh, really big U shape deer like to sit in here they feel comfortable they come in early in the evening they stay for a long time now they actually they like to come out down on that end and I don't know if you saw in the drone footage or not but we're only planting half of this food plot this year over here I've got a bow stand and a couple of years ago I had Bailey with me uh, he's a guy that helps me video sometimes man he first time he's ever deer hunted with me we hop up in this lock on right here and we shot a stud deer Here's a lock on right above me right here. So I'm right-handed, so I'll sit in this shooter's platform and he was uh, he was filming in the other platform. And we are right here and we had a buck walk out right under this bush where that shadow is, come out and he was right there at about 25 yards. And I put an arrow in him and he ran off in those woods. He was a cool deer, never had him on camera. He just shows up, big bruiser neck, double neck patch, one of the coolest bucks I've ever shot. And I killed him right here on my first hunt. I was actually on a doe hunt. We were trying to kill some doe, but he came out and I couldn't help myself but to shoot him. Hot day. Yeah. So bad. <laughs> <laughs> Got a little haircut. 
Oh, there it goes free 99 there. Free 99. This is the, just the behind, behind the scenes kind of BS that y'all don't get to see what it takes to make these videos. Half the time we ain't serious. We're never serious. <laughs> no, never. All right, we are in the West Side food plot. This is Rucker's favorite stand right here. He's hunted this many a times, but we got some uh, bad news, bud. Wind blew the entire tree down. We have no more bow stand here. So we're gonna have us a good looking food plot. Just not sure where we're gonna put the stand yet. We got a ladder on this tree. And uh, there's the bow arm right here. Bow arm fell out. But the whole top of this tree right here, if I can get a good angle, whole top of this tree broke in half. And uh, the lock on fell, bow arm fell, pretty much. Uh, we're done with this one so we may have time to do one or two more plots after this and we'll probably have to call it a day it's already getting later in the day we've had some incidents with the tractors and uh we didn't get over here till late because we had to haul the seed but all in all it's a good day so far making some progress and uh let's get the west side planted and move on to the next one Gas cap's gone. I do that once or twice a year. We get to screw it back in, leave it setting up top. Greenway just orders me about 50 a year. So today we're using a sponge as our gas cap. Works just fine. I got a whole pack of them in the back. You just shove it down in there. Yes, we have a fuel tank. Used to have a pump. Pump is no longer here. It's honestly the easiest way to get gas. Instead of holding the bucket over your head. A little out of time. Have you seen better ways of getting gas before? Yeah, they have these cool new inventions. You know, you like normally you just drive up to them. They got this little handle on the end of them. Why don't you go buy one then? <laughs> Rig it up for me. <laughs> just put the nozzle in there and then you squeeze it. The nozzle turns on and then normally that's how we get diesel. Alright, so this is the half acre plot. Uh, this is going to be the last plot we're doing today. Pretty much just wanted to bring you guys along and show you what we're doing. We planted three plots today. We planted the pocket, we planted the west side food plot, and we're planting the half acre, which we're at right now. It's calling for about two bags per acre. We're going to do two bags for a half an acre. Really overseed this plot. Got really uh, tall standard trees on the east and the west side of this food plot. So, you know, in the morning, you got a little bit of morning sun and then you got sun pretty much from like 11 till three. And then it starts getting covered up again um, after three till dark. So usually it's a really good spot for growth. This food plot just explodes similar to the pocket just with the shade. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, we've never used this food plot mix before. We've used Revere seed in the past and I can put up some footage right now what that food plot looked like last year and the year before. Absolutely phenomenal. We really enjoyed having the turnips and the radish, really just the bigger leaf mix in there along with the clover and the wheat. That's a wrap. Tell you what, this food plot right here is going to be thick with three C's. That thing got <laughs> thicker than a bowl of oatmeal. Right yeah, here. I mean, look at this. This is on the edge. Thicker than a snicker. That's what this is going to look like.